Hi guys, gotta film some talk videos. And I have a problem, but I think you have already noticed, and that is my survival show addiction. If I hear that there is going to be a survival show, I'm a viewer already. Like, five seconds before announcing that it's going to exist, pretty much. I have no idea, I actually hate them. Pretty much, I think 16 was the only one which was fairly nice, and it like made sense, like... Especially because mainly the younger trainees were eliminated and they still kind of stayed that JYP, so... I mean, just saying that if the Chai sisters in So and Somi get to be in a group with some other girls... <sighs> I'm so excited for that, if that happens. I mean, it should. So, JYP, don't be stupid, please. So, and uh, I would say that it was so bad. The situation with survival shows is so bad that I would even pick No Mercy as my second pick. I think I would mainly do this because there were like not only popularity vote, like there was not only the audience voting for them and it made the shows like better in a way that the outcome kinda made sense. <laughs> like it was like it made sense I think. <laughs> but if you leave it entirely to the audience, even though you can manipulate them and they end up voting out of pity. A lot of cases so I just don't like that fact that like I know that you pity that trainee but like there are other people who would actually make more sense to be in the group but like you can talk to people if they pity someone they are going to vote for them like crazy and like no one else like people don't want just vote for their biases like that they vote out of pity like more crazy so that's like my main problem when it's only like fan voting so uh, I guess like Produce 101 is one of my least favorites uh, because of that because like it's entirely was based on how much screen time someone gets and because of that they got more votes from people and then it, it turned out to be a pity vote for hmm. so like that's just and like other like in Vin you were totally fooled they wanted you to vote for team A didn't you notice how like in the first three episodes like two team A members already cried and the whole story of Don Kyok was only introduced like in the 8th episode when it didn't really matter anymore who you were voting for because it was pretty obvious that winner is going to be team A. Like it was so obvious for me that like they <laughs> like they wanted you to vote for them because they actually liked more team B so later they can make them a group as well so YG has two boy groups. But, like, people were totally fooled. I mean, I don't mind, because actually, like, Winner's style is, like, pretty cool. It's just, they don't have comebacks, because... Yeah, so, uh, like, that was also, like, an entirely popularity contest, basically. But it was also a pity vote, in a way. Like, they made you feel sorry for Team A. And, like, they were all the time, like, oh, Team B is so good at the company. And then you were like, why? I like Team A, too. And probably I would have been fooled, so, like, I'm talking like this, but I would have been fooled, too, so. Like, that's my talk about past survival shows. And the main problem here is not one thing, but three things. Pentagon Maker, FNC's D.O.B., and Boys 24. Pentagon Maker is actually running for one of my favorite survival shows, even though it's, like, basically a, like, popularity contest again, and Hong Sok fans seriously need to chill. Because you're taking away points. Because after Hong Sok completes a category, he's not going to get points for his missing category, okay? Like, there's no point in him winning for teamwork anymore because his teamwork category is completed. Like, I don't think many people understand this. And, like, this week is a whole mess, so I'm a bit angry about that. And, like, hmm. But, entire, like, why I really like Pentagon Maker is the fact that they are not just performing. Like, they did have three performance rounds in, like, six weeks or seven weeks, something, which is pretty cool. Like, it's, like, pr like a survival show standard. Like, every second week you would, like, first episode is, like, preparing, second is performing, pretty much. And preparing, performing, that's what usually goes. So, it's, it shows well in Pentagon Maker 2, but you have these bunch of individual and teamwork videos like not just for teamwork team but mind team like they have many of these videos and it's just so much fun you can actually get to know the members and it's like amazing and since there's like this is a survival show you're going to get interested in them and they get popularity for that i'm just like in a state of panic because i have two biases in the group like i decided that i just have two first biases there's no way i'm deciding between the two i just love them differently but equally in a way and one of them is currently leading, and the other one is currently last. 
<laughs> so I'm actually really worried because it seems like fans, like the people who just started to watch it and they are like streaming the videos for votes, they, they just don't understand. <laughs> so like they are streaming for people who they shouldn't stream for. Like you're wasting points. <sighs> but okay. So that's my problem with the one problem with Antago Maker, but it's mainly like the fact that it's also like only fans voting. But if that I feel like many people are actually counting and trying to go for Tentagon, like all 10 members debuting, so that's pretty cool. I'm just a bit worried still, even though they started to give out more points, I feel like, so that's cool, that, that's nice of them. Um, but I'm a bit worried about, like, but I really want all 10 of them to debut together. They are just like, oh, they're so cute together. And I just really love the fact that they are, like, doing stuff besides just preparing to perform, because you get to know them much better, like, so much better. Like, many cases, in other survival shows, I can only spot personalities of, like, half of the members well. I mean, it depends. Like, in No Mercy, like, I was pretty much one of, like, one of the few ten people. Like, maybe it was, like, ten people who actually liked Minhyuk, and now he's, like, the most popular. Like, I knew it that he's such nice, and, like, he's sunshine, and he's so funny, and he's everything, and he's so hyper and, like, lovable. But people didn't care because like it wasn't shown well in the show. So I guess if No Mercy would have been something like Pentagon Maker, people wouldn't hate it on Minyak for so long in the beginning. So yeah, that's why Pentagon Maker is just cool. And then FNC's DOB. You know, it's funny how as soon as I started watching pretty much like the biased people already like, okay, one of us is going to be your bias. And like in two episodes, okay, I'm your bias. And I'm like, okay, nice. I like you. You're a nice bias. But in Pentagon Maker, hello, hello. Oh my god, I'm scared of you. Like, they are just like, oh, why are there so many biased people? Probably because I see more of them. Yeah, probably that. But like in Dance Team, it's obviously in Song My Bias. And then Taeyang would be second and Hui Young third, probably. And in Ben's team, like, I'm so bad with their names. Isn't like, like, he's Juan. Like, the guitarist, who's, like, not the singer. Like, not bass, but the guitarist. Like, he's my bias there. Uh, but, like, they are also leading you there. Like, they are, like, at the company, they are like, Oh, Ben team did so well. And you're like, oh, but dance team deserves to debut. And you're voting for dance team. But that's what should happen, so I'm, like, not complaining. FNC should really debut the dance team. I'm also curious what they would do with them, so that's one of the reasons. Plus, M Flying. Since the show started, it was like five episodes already. I think the sixth one aired already, but I didn't see it yet. Like it aired yesterday or something. They never even mentioned the existence of M Flying. FT Island, CM Blue, and AOA were all mentioned. M Flying doesn't exist. So, and it's also like a four-member band. I mean, obviously, like a like four-member makes sense for a band. But like, it bothers me how they are like the possibility of a band team debuting again is there, and it bothers me because like M Flying like didn't even start. People don't even know them. Like even I can forget about them. Like because they are just not there anywhere. Like it's like FSC already gave up on that. And I mean, I get it that they want to create a new kind of win situation, like dance team, band team, woo. But like, dance team makes more sense, but by the way, where is Ming Ming? I'm curious, where is he? Like, isn't he supposed to be an FNC trainee? Just curious. So, uh, but one thing, like, I really don't like how they ar arranged I Hope, FT Islands I Hope. Like, like that wasn't even the song anymore. And like, Honky also pointed it out and I was like, I mean, I get it that you make a dance for it, but like, this was totally pretty much a different song what you ended up with. So. What are you doing, dance team, there? But I really like their dances and they really pay a lot of attention to them. They are do doing well. I really like it. I, I feel like I can't hear much of their voices, even though I, I like I kind of know who are the vocalists. It's just they don't really focus on that much because they are the dance team. And in the band team, they focus on the vocalist more. But also, like, I don't know, I just... I like him as a person. He's really cute. But for some reason, I don't feel what I feel with Honky or Yonghua, like... I, out of so many voices I could pick out theirs, like I was really like, oh, that's Honky for sure, oh, that's Youngwa for sure. So, and even the M Flying singer, which like 
Hey, FNC, what did you do? I don't even know his name. Like, you're horrible. But I know who he is. So, like, I think he is, has also a quite unique voice. But, like, in, in, in this da band team, like, I don't know. <laughs> so, hmm. um, I'm curious how this goes because I quite like how they do with the performance kind of things, how the ideas are like going to high school, boys school, girl school, and then doing FTI and then AOA, and now they did CM Blue, both teams, so it was pretty cool, I'm looking forward to the new things. If I'm flying, I'm, what I'm looking forward to, if I'm flying is going to be mentioned at least once in this show, I'm going to celebrate that minute, like, I'm going to stop the video, jump around between my room, FNC is not entirely stupid and rude and like... But yeah, that was my DOB thing. And about Boys 24, it's not the girl version of Produce 101. Oh my god, please, like, please stop it, people. Like, it's not that. They are not from companies. They are all individual trainees. And that's amazing. I love it. Like, I love it so much that they are not from companies. Because I feel like in Produce 101, if you liked one or two from a company, you were like, I might as well like the third or fourth one. And they were just, people just voted because, like, companies and, like... I mean, I get it that you like Pledis or Jellyfish, but it was just, uh, like, many trainees didn't even get attention because they were from some really small companies, and, like, I feel like in the entire group, pretty much only Chongha was the one who won over the viewers' hearts with, based on talent, like, everything, like, the rest was, like, either companies or, like, Yu Jung's situation being the center, like, there were so many things that you just, like... Pretty much only Chongha was the one who was like, oh, I'm so talented, you need to vote for me. Like, and out of 101 girls, it's probably there were more really talented girls too. And like the girls who ended up in the group, of course, there are, of course, there are talented ones, but they didn't get the attention for their talents pretty much at all. So, eh, like that's what I like about Boys24, that they are just not from companies. So y you get to pick your bias, like like based on almost nothing even though they're like ex William trainee or like other companies probably ex trainees and I know that the like I know that who vo like led the lead the voting or whatever so I, I know that like I still need to learn them because there's 49 of them which is actually pretty cool because in the first like survival show round 10 weeks I guess so in the first round uh, like only tw 25 of them are going to be eliminated which is actually pretty cool <coughs> and then for a year they are going to perform as 24 like probably in units and then a final seven based on popularity contest again are going to debut in a group which is actually in a way upsetting because not only you're going to be together for 10 weeks 24 of them are going to be together for an entire year probably living really close to each other, seeing each other a lot. Some of, like, best friends' friendships going to form, like, group of threes or fours, and since there's only seven of them who gets to debut in the end, like, you're going to break up many of these friendships, like, and they're going to be a permanent group like that, which is cool because the IOI thing is, like, they're not even permanent. I don't even know what their friends are like. Oh, like, like, sit down, please. Your group, group going to this band so soon, like, 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 just enjoy it and, like, stop being annoying. Like, that's what, I'm like, Ugh. But, like, in this group, it's going to be a permanent group, but many of them are going to, like, have their best friends or someone in, in another group. Like, and the whole show and the situation made them best friends. Like, just, ah. Uh. And they're going to die after a year, apparently, of performing all the, every single day. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's going to be units, but still, like, probably every person performs at least like twice a week for a year which is I guess like when you go music shows for a month you perform almost every single day and go to shows so I guess it's like around the same but still like please don't get sick please eat well please sleep, sleep well I mean sleeping well is like too much to ask from idols but you know it's a bit worrying but that's some interesting what Mnet would do out of this situation though I hope that, I mean, I don't like really long episodes, but I hope the episodes are going to be as long as Produce 101, because in this case, with 49 trainees, there's actually a chance of them showing them 
equally, I know that's too much to ask for, but I think like more of them are going to be shown well than it was in Produce 101. Like there's more chance for them. So like that's my hopes are for this show. So yeah, this is such a long video. I need to learn the trainees and I need to organize them by age order or something. I did watch their their video. What was that? Like, I quite liked it. I just didn't download it. I don't know why I didn't. I mean, I didn't even download Pick Me. Oh my god. <laughs> but, like, I downloaded other songs. So, so. <laughs> but, um, like, I'm interesting what Mnet would do did this. And, like, this summer is so survival show field. I'm like, I don't even feel the need to watch Show Me The Money 5. Like, Tablin is already animated, so, like, what's the point? <laughs> so, <laughs> And the non pretty upster comes again, which is like more fun in a way that they are like girls that they are like fighting. <laughs> the editing is so funny, like like please leave them alone, but also it's funny. So <laughs> So this is my talk about survival shows. I'm addicted, I know. I'm sorry. And you're going to get a video of a Pentagon Maker in the end. DOB in the end and Boys24 in the end because that's what I do and I have these all these other talk videos about each show that I watched except for Kara Project which I'm super glad I never made <laughs> I shouldn't have mentioned that I need to film other videos <laughs> so uh, yeah this was my talk Pentagon Maker definitely gets my vote if all 10 of them gets to Debbie in the end and Cube doesn't mess this up because they already messed something up this week and a couple of weeks ago so Cube. Cube. I'm a bit worried because I'm usually not a huge fan of Cube's music, except for maybe 4 minutes. Cube. So, I'm a bit worried about their music, but I really like the boys, so let's hope for the best. And yeah, I, I like B2B2 as a person, people, like as people a lot, like I love B2B so much. But for the music, like, I usually just like, I need a bit more. <laughs> But like I really like them as people, so like Cube can create really good groups. It's just their music is like usually I'm like eh, I like it, but not enough. So I'm a bit worried about that um, on Pentagon's side, and I'm a bit worried about Dance Team being a Brave Sound group for FNC because FNC can be dumb. But like Brave Sound for boy groups is not as bad yet as girl group ba brave sound like girl group brave sound sounds more like similar than boy groups because they do less boy group songs these couple of past years so bye because i talk too much i'm like looking at the little screen thing like how much i t like a lot <laughs> bye thanks for watching